hi guys welcome back to a new video on this channel today in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up graphics.h with VS code or visual studio code so uh, most people use it with turbo C or turbo C++ which is a discontinued compiler but if you use it with VS code it is much simpler and easier because of the user interface so just go ahead to view uh, to visualstudio.com code.visualstudio.com and download it on your computer and install it so downloading and installing is pretty easy just like any other software you can just run the setup file and install it after installation uh, you'll get to see somewhat like this but the files will not be present just uh, click on the left corner and go to the extensions tab and here you need to install three extensions the first extension is C or C++ by Microsoft search for it in the uh, in the extensions market and install it as you can see I have already installed it uh, in the place of uninstall it will show you uh, install button just click on it and install it so there are three extensions along with C C, C++ themes and C extension pack you can install all th these three extensions the next extension is code runner you can also install this extension to run your code on VS code and the next extension the last extension you need to install for this video is exe runner so it can directly uh, run or open executable files on VS code so after installing all these extensions download MinGW so I will leave the link in the description below click on the link and you will be redirected to this website just download it and after downloading and installing MinGW, installing it is also very simple just like any other software you need to um, run the setup file and just keep clicking on next 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 and done so as you can see I have already downloaded this MinGW, MinGW and I have also installed it so I will not run the setup file again So now after installing MinGW, open start and just search for MinGW, you will get to see MinGW installation manager, click on it. So it takes some time to process the packages, package catalog. So this is the interface you will get to see but uh, as, as of now you can see there are all the packages are listed over here. But when you open it for the first time it will show you only few packages like this on basic setup mode so you need to click on click on mingw32 base and click on mark for installation as you can see i have already installed so it is grayed out and it is showing me mark for removal but in but in your case you need to click on mark for installation same with mingw base32 and mingw32 gcc and mingw mysys base and then you need to click on installation and apply changes the option is grayed out because i have already installed it you need to click on apply changes and then it will take some time because uh, it tries to connect to the server and install all the packages it will take like 10 to 15 minutes i have already installed it so i will not do it again then click on the github link given in the description below solutions to graphics.h then go to code and download zip so it will download a zip file then open the next github link which is graphics.h project template go to code download zip so now both of the zip files are downloaded on your computer now extract it i have already extracted it so it will create a folder so as you can see zip files and folder present in the download folder download section this is graphics the graphics.h project template and this one is solution to graphics.h so first of all we will be needing solutions to graphics.h this repository so inside this repository you can see a lot of files you don't need to worry about that 
so first of all you need to go to this PC then open local disk C and then open the folder mingw then go to bin now there are a lot of files you don't need to worry about that just copy the path and then open start and search for edit environment variables click on it and uh, if you are using as an user you need to add environment variables over on the top on user variables or if you are the admin you need to use system variables you need to enter the path in system variables so I'm using user so I'll click on path and then uh, as you can see I've already entered it but if you are entering it for the first time click on new and click on ok so as you can see I've already uh, entered it now click on ok I have already entered so I'll click on cancel you just need to copy and paste the path then go to uh, include folder in mingw inside mingw folder there is an include folder go there and now come back to the repository open the repository uh, where you have the solutions and copy graphics.h it is it is a header file then go back to the mingw include folder and paste it over there okay so now go back come back and go go inside the lift folder inside mingw now you have also opened the solution to graphics repository on another tab so this is dot a file lib bgi dot a file this is the library file so copy it and go back to mingw library mingw library folder and paste it all right so you have pasted both the things so now open vs code and uh, inside vs code all right so go back to downloads and inside downloads there's another folder another repository which you have downloaded as a zip format and you have extracted it to, to a folder inside that folder graphics.h project template rename it to computer graphics workspace rename the folder to computer graphics workspace now cop copy the folder and go to documents and create a new folder called vs code so i've already created a new folder called vs code over here so as you can see i've already created a new folder called vs code now open vs code and inside vs code paste that folder computer graphics workspace which is from the repository uh, you have downloaded from github now go to vs code click on file and open folder and select that folder so i've already opened that folder on vs code it is already over here so if you open it for the first time let me close the extensions if you open it for the first time you'll get to see somewhat like this so there are a lot of files inside home build and source so initially it will be like this if you open the drop down if you click on the drop down you can see all the files so i have created a new file constructions.cpp construct.cpp which is the file you can see here over here you can create any programming file any computer graphics file if you know how to code so uh, yeah just uh, so I've just created the file and I have ru run the program using Control Shift plus B. Make sure all the inst uh, all the extensions you have installed, you have installed all the extensions I have sh shown at the beginning of the video. So now inside the build folder, I have also built it using uh, Control Shift and B. So now I will run it using right click, run executable. Now you can see uh, this is working, which means the setup has been completed the setup has been successfully completed so yeah this is all about today's video please do like and share this video and subscribe to this channel for regular updates related to technology uh, cyber security programming thanks for watching this video stay tuned for the next one